All righty, so, um, so for Christoph and Thomas, this uh, project that they're doing is, uh, we call it a wellness atelier. We identified eight different kinds of wellness. The students each did research on these different kinds of wellness, and then they, they got to kind of pick the ones that were most interesting to them that they wanted to um, use, uh, develop for their uh, wellness atelier. So this building is on La Brea. It's a real building. We went there as a class and we saw the, the building. Currently, it's a, a men's active wear store on the ground floor. It's a two-story building. So they all are um, trying to figure out. There's currently no stair connecting the two floors, uh, internal stair anyway, or big stair. It's all kind of small exit stairs because they're not used simultaneously. So they're developing how to you know, move through the building. And most of them also have developed a rooftop section also because even though it's on La Brea, it's on first in La Brea, um, there's a beautiful view to you know, the Santa Monica Mountains uh, to the north. And you know, there's a charming neighborhood behind it to the west and Hancock Park is to the other side. So it's actually surrounded by a nice green section of, of town. So some of them have tried to activate the rooftop too. And I know Thomas, you lived, Thomas lived in Los Angeles for a couple of years. So he's very, very familiar with, with La Brea, of course. So, okay. So, um, and then because we're doing this as a, a, a presentation on Ring Central, I've asked the students to make a, a PowerPoint presentation at first so they can present their project kind of hopefully in some kind of orderly way. That's to help them kind of understand and talk about the project. And then also I've asked them to have their model, they have a computer model, Tom, and a uh, and plans in AutoCAD, which I know you're familiar with, most of them anyways, or Revit, that they can also show those models with us after they finish their, their presentation. Perfect. Perfect. Was there anything else, anything else I missed you guys? We're all happy? So, yes. Okay, so we're going to start with Katie. Okay, can I go? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, for my wellness studio, the three types of wellnesses that um, stuck out to me and the ones that I wanted to base my model off were emotional, spiritual, and physical. So, for the emotional wellness, that revolves around self-care, relaxation, stress reduction, and developing your inner strength. Um, spiritual, it's more about um, meditation, um, having clear values and a positive outlook on life. And for the physical aspect, um, it's more of a physical fitness in your state of health and well-being and your ability to perform um, better in sports in activities through your day. <clears throat> so this is a narrative of my space, um, the overall um, theme or design concept that I was going off of. So I found this quote and it's, space needs light to illuminate, light needs space to receive it, and light within the space changes the human experience. And my space is a focus on the mind, body, and spirit as a whole. So light plays a really big part in my project, and that will be shown later on as well. So this is my storyboard. Um, it basically shows the main concept of my space. So I have a rather large curtain in the center of my space that um, includes a skylight above which lets in a lot of natural light and then I also have a large main decorative stair right off of that curtain and these three elements are the center of my space and my design basically. So for inspiration, I wanted a very minimalistic space, um, natural materials, woods, and circular um, 
shapes, I guess, that kind of go off the idea of my central curtain. So for my program, um, I guess overall, my starting with my first floor, it has my reception and retail. Some of the main rooms that I have are a meditation space, which will be the central room of my first floor. I also have a yoga room and then a smoothie bar and restrooms for men and women. My second floor contains um, a Pilates room, massage rooms for couples and individuals, um, and then some spaces for staff, which include laundry, storage, and then a lounge for them. And I also have a second meditation space, which can be used also as a meeting or a hangout space for those to gather. Um, and I have a rooftop. On my rooftop, there is a pool, a hot tub, a second bar, and then just more lounge space and restrooms with showers. So here's my first floor. Down on the bottom right is the main entryway. When that's, you end that's La Brea, right? La Brea Avenue on the bottom. Yeah, there. yeah. There. Just, just briefly, there's an alley in the back of the building, and there's no, there's two buildings on either side of the, of this building, so there's no windows on the sides, only the front and back. Okay, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Um, so the bottom right is my front entry. Um, you enter in and you see the grand stair in front. And off to your right is a reception desk. And then to the left, I have a retail area um, with clothing. And then as you continue, there's some tables and chairs for seating. And then um, a long bar that goes along the left side. Um, as you make your way to the center, um, there are some more seating areas and then here is where you see the large um, glass. It's actually a glass enclosure with a curtain lining the inside <clears throat> that you saw in my storyboard that is the main concept. And on the left side towards the back I have locker rooms and restrooms for men and women. In the back, I have my yoga room. And then this side, the right side is more of staff and storage. In the back is a loading dock that, as mentioned earlier, connects to the alleyway behind. And that's an existing loading dock that they're all keeping. Right. So second floor, you come up the stairs and it takes you um, there to your left is a bridge that overlooks the yoga room below um, and everything in the center is basically open to below um, up in the right corner is the second meditation slash uh, <coughs> space for people to hang out in. Along the right wall are extra bathrooms with um, an ADA sh shower. Um, as you go down, there's more storage and then there's also an elevator. Um, on the bottom front room is the Pilates room. And to the left, I have all of my massage rooms for couples and individuals. And then as you go up, there is my laundry room with washers and dryers and then uh, a sink and some more storage. And then staff lounge has a couple desks, um, a table for meetings and a little lounge area. And both the back wall and front wall have large windows to let in light since um, the side walls cannot have any windows. So this is my rooftop. My rooftop starts um, at the back end of the circular 
room in the center and continue to the front so it's only a portion of the top. And this large central meditation area in the middle is a skylight at the top so that is all open for natural light. So when you come up the stairs you have another lounge space with tables and couches. Um, as you come around the stairs there's a hot tub um, you keep coming and there's that same elevator. Um, down at the bottom is the large pool. <clears throat> the left-hand side is restrooms for men and women, including um, two showers, one of them being ADA. And in the center, you have the second um, smoothie bar and lounge area for the guests. So um, some of you can just briefly that that was eight minutes. So you have more time, but that was eight, about half the time is up for the okay. for the for our comments too. So okay, so should I just quickly go through these? Sure. Okay, so some of the materials that I chose um, I have tile, pine wood, and then pleated glass. The pleated glass is what the central circular room is made up of. Um, some lighting, um, the first one will probably go over the reception area, the linear pendant, um, I imagine going over the bar, and then the bar light is something I would probably put on top of the cabinets to accent, to highlight the accent walls. Um, furniture. This is a couch I would put outside. This is a Pilates reformer just to give you an idea of what goes inside the Pilates room and what the machine looks like. Um, these stools would go at the bar. And so here's one of the images of my first floor. This is a view as you come in the entryway door. So here's the grand stair, um, the retail area, very minimal, it just hangs from the ceiling, and keeps the floor open. Um, and then in the back, you can see that there's the bar area. Um, this is the first floor as well, just at a different angle from the outside of the building. Um, shows the tables and chairs in the bar and the columns. Along the columns, I have little seating um, areas. So this is the second floor meditation room. Um, it was a boxy room, but I wanted to create the circular um, kind of language that I had in the center room. So there's large, deep steps for people to sit on. And then this, lastly, this is the rooftop. Um, I have my pool down here, glass enclosure around the stair an overhang above the stair lounge and spa, and then another overhang over the smoothie bar and lounge area, and then the two buildings on the left-hand side are the bathrooms. So yeah, that's basically it. Do you have your, your model just in that you could show us the, the Rhino model? Yeah, I have it, but it's not, finished so I don't know how well it will. Well just maybe it, it might help um, Tom and and Christoph understand a little more about the okay uh, do, do I have to reshare the screen or can you not see it? Uh, we can't see it yet you have to yeah you have to um, end this one and then go to your then share the model. Okay. So um, Sorry, I, I asked them to have, they, they don't, they're going to be spending more time developing these models uh, in the final, in the final week. So they weren't asked to have them rendered yet. It's just them kind of building out the massing so they would understand how the, the space worked. So I kind of took off the rooftop just so I can see stuff better. But yeah, this is the model that I have right now. Maybe show us the, the curtain area, curtain area 
area in the center so we can okay and that goes up through the roof yeah it goes all the way up okay okay um christoph or tom do you have any comments you well, like i think that you hit it i think you've hit it on pretty good i i really like your design a lot um, I think you've hit a lot of the really important things that there is to the spa industry. One thing that I'll say that you, you must be sensitive to is sound, um, you know, uh, the proximity of kind of where your rooms are to where, like your Pilates rooms and your massage rooms and that. So it's one thing to be a little sensitive to that. And uh, other than that, I think that you've really kind of had the whole concept of, I think the layout is very good and the concept is very well done. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I agree in general. So I think that um, uh, the stra one really strong point about your design is the overall space planning layout and circulation. I think that works really well and looks really good. I mean, there's always little corners here and there that could be um, further developed, of course. Right. Um, I think to have the central kind of big light well is something really good also. Um, that can be a very interesting thing. Um, I think there's more potential in the three-dimensional spatial aspects of your um, spa. What I mean with that is that I see beginnings already of you thinking more three-dimensionally there. So for example, when you showed us that um, uh, meditation room with a circular mm -hmm. kind of sunken area, which I think is great because for some people, they even if they meditate, they want a little bit of a backrest. So I think that's really, really good. Um, that would give you the opportunity to also maybe punch that down into the ceiling of the space underneath. Mm. So I, I, I forgot what's underneath that space. So, and we don't, you don't, I don't need to know right now, but you know, maybe there's a space underneath that needs a little bit less ceiling height. And then you can start playing with those levels more and more. So similar, the pool on the very top, which I think is great, but maybe uh, I think there's the Pilates area underneath, right? Yeah. So maybe the Pilates area doesn't need to be as tall uh, and the pool can punch itself in there a little bit. And you can right. start playing with the volumes, the internal volumes a little bit more in the sense of Adolf Loh's home plan. Did you, did we, we did go over that in history, right? Do you remember? Which one was it? Adolf Loh's home plan. Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember that. But it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so look, look into, it's an Austin architect was 19 beginning of the 20th century Adolf Loos L O O S and his concept part of his concept is called Raumplan R A U M P L A N which means space plan but it's not space plan in our sense it's space about basically thinking about it in volumes your interior so he did a lot for um, residential spaces where he would say let's just say the kitchen doesn't have to be as tall so you can pull the ceiling down and that allows the bedroom above to be taller. Mm. So these kind of things, um, I see starting points of that that make it interesting there. Um, okay. And Katie, Katie, we had talked about sinking that pool into the Pilates area, area, area right? Yeah, I was going to do that. It's just hard because I, I don't have any sections drawn, so I haven't really. Okay. Um, so, so that's one there. thing. So, Sorry. Go um, ahead, Krista. Um, and then one other thing is that I understand, um, you know, from your inspirations, the materials you showed us, you know, you want to have it very kind of um, subdued, minimal. I, I think that's fine. I think it could, your, the design overall could use like one element that really kind of um, is remarkable, let's say. And of okay. course, the curtain would be the, a great opportunity. Yeah. To really think about what is that curtain? Uh, is it maybe a color or is it, um, what can it do? And, and um, I would look a little bit at um, the work of Petra Blaze. 
She's from the okay. Netherlands, B-L-A-S-S-E. I think that's how you spell the last name. Um, her office is called Inside Outside, maybe? She does great work with curtains. Oh, I found it, yeah. Yeah, so to really make this curtain into something spectacular that people will remember. Okay. But overall, I think it's, it's a good project already. Yeah, I think, I think um, for me that a couple things were, I think we have to still work on the stairs, but also mostly when you get up on the second floor, I think you're kind of faced with a, a blank wall and then you have to kind of turn around and walk down a long hall. So I think, I, I, I know we just hadn't thought about it, but I think um, you might want to have some kind of reception up there at the top of the stair also to kind okay. of direct people. Um, and then that, yeah, the hallway there that runs to up to the front to the Pilates area, it's kind of narrow and long. So I think we got to think about maybe that's another opportunity to connect, you know, light from the roof through there or something to make it a more beautiful space. Yeah. And that was, you know, so the stairs definitely do. I mean, there's lots of stuff that we can continue to work on, but I, I think it, I think it's um, looking great. I think you really want to, like one of your views could have been inside that circular curtain room we could uh, and so in the future you can work on that to really make it a stronger it's, it's, it's a strong idea but to actually help us understand what it's like inside of that space okay i thought it looked great i think you know really good organization and everything so thank you so much katie thank you so this is my project i will be um my project's name is pacha wellness center so as some of you know, Tatcha is a brand at Sephora they, at, that they sell at Sephora. It's a skincare brand. So I based it off of that. So my wellness types are going to be the wellness, um, uh, oh, sorry, uh, emotional, physical, and spiritual wellness, where one is encouraged to relax, relieve stress, while evolving existing inner strengths. Uh, my narrative is less is more. So um, at Tatcha, as a brand, they believe that um, less is more, encouraging people to wear less makeup and uh, more skincare um, products. So that is also kind of what I'm aiming for. My inspiration was uh, Japanese architecture as a whole. Uh, the hidden complexity and its simplicity was just incredible. So I just, I wanted to research that and work off, off of that. Uh, my storyboard so um this image uh it, it like portrays the main aspect of my design it shows the clean linear work on all the surfaces and um and i included natural lighting and water to incorporate the main ideas like main um key factors of nature so for my program oh sorry just need to move the camera Sorry. So for the first floor, uh, I have a reception area, admissions office, Japanese tea ceremony area, which uh, they are going to be using during their waiting uh, time, uh, retail store, staff lounge, storage room, laundry room, uh, bathroom, and uh, courtyard. Uh, second floor includes a yoga room, lockers uh, with showers, uh, massage rooms, two single and one couple. Um, nail salon, body facial treatment area, and a sauna. And for the third floor, I'd have a jacuzzi, um, restrooms, pool, meditation areas, and bar. So for my first floor, uh, this is my plan. So you enter from, sorry, you enter from down here. Um, there's going to be a small waiting area over here, receptions, er, reception areas over here. Uh, the middle area is going to be uh, the shallow water and um, and a little bit of like a walking space so you can actually wait there as well. The, uh, the tea ceremony area is going to be on the left, on the right. Uh, it's going to have like a tr like the traditional Japanese um, uh, tables and, and cushions. On this, on the right, left side, there's an admissions office and a retail store. Then when you walk to the back, there's like the restroom over here, and then um, the laundry room, storage area, uh, and the staff lounge. 
So the main circulation is going to be around this courtyard. Um, so the second floor is open to below in the middle, and you can see exactly what the uh, courtyard looks like. This area over here is going to be the yoga room. It has a, a huge glass um, um, surf, uh, wall over here, and it has it's actually circular on the sides. It's, it, it goes in, so the ceiling becomes the wall, becomes the, um, the floor, which I found interesting, and it makes you like feel as if you're like enclosed in a space. Um, the, these two are locker rooms. And these, uh, actually, these two boxes continue all the way up to the third floor with glass uh, all around it. Uh, so you can actually see from below that it's, co it's continuous. It's go it goes all the way up. Um, the, there, this is the couple's room um, massage area. This is a single and another single massage area, the sauna. And the manicure area, the spa. And then the treatment area. So the locker rooms also have two showers and uh, lockers and vanity with sinks. For the third floor, when you go up, there's the, uh, the bar area over here. Instead of including like stools, I had swings, which made it more like casual and fun. Um, these are the meditation uh, rooms. They're not, they're kind of closed from the top. They're like, they have the same idea as the bar. Um, and the pool is actually all glass, so the natural lighting flows from the pool down to the first floor. Um, here we have a jacuzzi and then two bathrooms over here. So for my materials, I I'm, uh, will be incorporating natural materials, including fine woods, bamboo, silk, and pa paper soji screens, as you can see in the picture. Also, uh, these natural materials will be used to keep simplicity in the space and allows a certain connection to, with nature. Uh, I will also include concrete for um, some of the floorings and glass and brushed steel. So for furniture, uh, in the yoga room, I will not be using actual yoga mats, but I will be using uh, something that looks like a tatami mat so that it incorporates the Japan Japanese style and it just includes that aspect of it. For furniture, the wooden swings at the bar, and the, Jap the chabudai, the Japanese oriental coffee table, and the zabuton cushions. For the lighting, uh, first off, there's the natural lighting from windows and the pool as a skylight. Uh, indirect lighting, wide LED bars enclosed in like the, the ceiling. And the Andon Japanese traditional lamps, which will include LED, bu LED bulbs inside. I'll have a lot of plants all over the area. So these specific plants are all like um, really good for, I, I did the research and it's, it says that each plant has the specific effect on people. So I, I kind of wanted to include it. Um, this is one of my 3D views. This is the entrance. So the pool area is right in the middle. Uh, I mean, sorry, the shallow water is right here. It's going to have like a walkway with the seating area. I still haven't done that. Um, the staircase, these are the rooms on the sides that go all the way up to the third floor. This is a look from the below to the third floor. Um, this is the second floor. And this is the yoga room another view towards the outside. This is actually glass, so you can see outside. I, hadn't, I don't have an environment yet. And the third floor isn't fully developed, but this is what it was gonna be, it's gonna look like. And these are the two boxes that go up from the lower, from the first floor to the, the, to the end. And the, the gap you see here is gonna be all glass, so you can actually see below. Yep. And um, for my 3D model, it's this, oops, sorry. I have a camera angle on, so it kind of, uh, and a light, let me just remove those. Okay. So this is first floor, second floor, and the third floor. 
I haven't fully finished it yet, but this is what it looks like. Well, you at midterm, I hope you haven't finished it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, one question. Those yeah. um, vertical slats at those three-story spaces, is that bamboo? Excuse me? Those vertical elements around those two three-story spaces? These? No, the, no, the wood, right. the wood the slats. Right. Okay, sorry, one second. These? Yes, those are bamboo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What, what about them? They're bamboo. Oh, yeah, I wanted to make them bamboo, but I actually um, have them s s square. Okay. So I don't have the actual material in, it's just wood yeah, yeah. in my renderings, but... but it, no, I mean, I saw in one of your reference images where bamboo yeah. was used like that, so I was wondering if that's... Okay. Exactly. Uh, I, I imagined it to be just like, um, just like this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a beautiful Thank image. You. Excuse me? It's a beautiful image. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I wanted to ask, um, so I know that obviously it isn't done, but the model is, is kind of dark. Is it, is it, is that because you need to add a light source or do you? I, add... Yeah, uh, I'm still not fully familiar with that. I, I actually downloaded SketchUp, so I'm going to be working off of SketchUp for, um, uh, for renderings. Hopefully that'll work better because uh, I kind of added some lighting, but it's still too dark for me. I don't know if I agree with that. Sorry. So I want it. You know, yeah. I, I, I like your description of the things, you know, the Japanese influence, and um, I think the layout actually works, should work really well and make it feel very luxurious. The idea of having a courtyard is also very, it's one of the three traditional Japanese layouts of a house. So I think that's very good. And then I think the reference images were also very, um, um that are very good also thank you and what i like about them is they're all japanese inspired but they're also very um kind of still updated and modern not too exactly, traditional kind of, yeah. but one of the key elements is that they're all very dark and and i don't know did you read the book in praise of shadow uh no Okay, you should. Oh wait, read. was that the one from your class? Yes, I, I had. Yeah. I had made you guys read a chapter of it. Yeah. So this it describes basically how important shadows and shade is in Japanese traditional architecture, and I would yes. really look into that because your images kind of suggest that already, and I like mm -hmm. that as an atmosphere in your space to be actually much darker than we would. Expect. I would want it to be dark, but like I would want my lights to emphasize what I want. For example, like under these columns, I would like to have lighting to like show these columns, but then everything else is dark or like yeah. under this this wood area, I'd like to have indirect lighting. Um and like and on lamps, are the the effect that they give, this warmth that they give is what I'm aiming yeah. for. No, and, and that's going to be, a, are you in Yellen's class? And yes. Design Confu Work with him on that. Okay. Ask him specifically, okay, and show him these images. This is what I want. Teach okay. Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he can. It's, it's not easy to do, but, but I understand what you want. Read that book, talk to Yellen, and you can make it work. Okay. It's a tiny book. Okay. Very short. Can you just write it in the, in the, yeah. um, a message so I can for it. Yeah, you know, because when I was asking about the uh, the darkness, I, it was really kind of a, a pleasure to see kind of a dark space. So that's that's why I asked. But but I but I completely hear you about about trying to um, you know highlight parts of it, like this image that you're showing us right now. So yeah, I, I mean, Serene, you have done so much work since the last time. I'm really excited. Yeah. Really excited. I mean, I, I liked I liked your building. Your, your interior before, um, but it is better. So that's great. Congratulations on, on having you. a uh, having a a, an, a moment, an epiphany on on your design. I think it's looking uh, really good. How about you, Thomas? I like it. I think it's very sophisticated. 
you know, I think it has just a really nice feel to it. I like the layout of it. I think the proportion and the the movement through it, I think, will work perfectly. I think it's done very, very well. Thank you. I like it. I think the um, I'm 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 not sure if those little tea rooms are are big enough, but that's something you can you keep developing it. I mean, one of the things that you always so and and I I'm, again I'm not that familiar with some of your arrangement of spaces, so we'll see it more on on Friday. But um, so um, but having said that, I, I agree with Thomas. I think I think it's you know seems like really kind of super generous on term in terms of circulation, you know. With, <laughs> Again, uh, that's something you had in your last one. And, you know, as a business, that's, that's hard to swallow sometimes because every square foot costs so much money that you want to be producing something uh, in every square inch of your space. So it's, it's a hard sell sometimes, but clearly, you know, it's important to, to your space that there are, it's, there's these kind of contemplative moments and or moments of, ex, of, uh, of, a, of a new experience when you go around the corner because it seems very logical and planned, but I think actually walking in there would be pretty uh, mis mysterious from time yeah. to time. Also, for um, for this area, I saw I got I saw like this um, image on on Google that um, from here they had to, like plants suspended in a way, all the way. So that kind of um, made the like a separation and had more privacy for the rooms. And the back area, because it's more of a staff area. So whoever walks in wouldn't actually see who's walking in and out of the rooms, which was really interesting. But I also don't know how to do that on Rhino. So I'll kind of try to work that out, too. I, I know plants are really popular in, in interiors these days, and, and, and for good reasons. But I would be really careful, because I think part of the strength of what you're showing now is just the kind of pure kind of um, interior architecture that you have going on. I agree. I agree with that. Plants okay. can start to, uh, I mean, it, ha it has to be done just as sophisticated in as just as sophisticated way as you've done it, your kind of woodwork in a sense. So I, I wouldn't go overboard with it, but there could be a plane of, of, you know, planted wall in it or something. But I think right now it, the strength is that it's actually just the, the lighting and the architecture, you know, and the volumes that you're making, that that's the strongest part of it. Okay, thank you. I agree. Okay, anybody else? Thank you, Serene. Yeah, thank we you. have one, we have one second. There you go. <laughs> thank you, good thank job, you. thanks. Okay.